When an avoidant has their fears triggered, they will look for any tiny little fault that they can find in their partner as an excuse to discard them and leave the relationship. This is because the avoidant has paralyzing fear of emotional intimacy, and if emotional intimacy is building in the relationship, they will look for an exit as the way to keep themselves emotionally safe. This is a person that learned in childhood that emotional closeness means abandonment because their own parents and caretakers were not emotionally there for them. So when the fear gets triggered, they need an exit plan and they need a way to justify this to themselves so they don't feel like a bad person. They will look for any tiny little fault that they can find in the other person and say, well, look at this, we're incompatible. There's no way this relationship would work. It can be very tiny, petty things. The noises that you make when you eat, oh, you sip your coffee too loudly. You're too needy. Oh, you text too much. Oh, you wanna to spend too much time together. It's too much pressure. They will find any little excuse. If they find these excuses, well, that means that they don't have to reflect on why they're ending the relationship. They don't have to self-reflect on their own fears, their own behaviors, and they certainly don't have to take accountability because that's what avoidance have learned to do. They have learned to avoid, avoid processing emotions, avoid dealing with difficult situations, avoid facing accountability, avoid, avoid, avoid. That's why they are called avoidance. So this person will look to avoid self-reflection and avoid actually taking accountability for the fact that they're devastating and hurting another person. If they find this fault, well, that's it. They're justified, no need to reflect on it. They can move on with a clear conscience. However, if you got discarded, it's not your fault. If the relationship was going well and you genuinely treated this person well, it's not your fault. It is a reflection of their own unhealed attachment wounds, their own insecurities. Even if they found a very small thing and blamed that on you as the reason for ending the relationship, understand that's not the true reason. The true reason is that this person is emotionally unavailable. They have deeply rooted fears that go back to childhood and they fear a relationship that is growing close, especially when there's a partner that treats them well, shows them love, and is emotionally available for them. It is specifically healthy relationship behaviors that are what trigger the avoidant fear. So when these fears get triggered, it's because you're doing things well and this person has to find some fault in you to justify why they need to run away from the relationship. Running from the relationship is how they self-soothe because their anxiety is going through the roof. You're getting behind that castle wall that they built around their heart. That's scary, they don't want that, and they need a way to push you away and do it without feeling guilty.